In the last two days, General Motors has fired more than 1,300 staff at its Michigan factories. It also fired 900 staff at its cruise unit. This year, it has fired just under 6,000 staff across North America. After the agreement with the UAW in America, General Motors has fired thousands of staff. The latest job cuts affect 1,300 employees. And General Motors says this is partly a result of a slow electrification take up in America, which is actually statistically incorrect considering EV sales in America have grown 60% versus last year. But that's GM's excuse. Here are the facts of the story. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Mary Barra has just visited the White House yesterday to lobby the Biden administration. She says, along with Toyota and Ford, it's not fair. The new rules are not fair. General Motors will be forced to, well, it will be forced to not sell 50% of the cars it has on sale today within a few years from now because they break emissions regulations and rules or General Motors would be forced to pay $6.5 billion in pollution fees. Anyway, GM is responding to this crisis. It believes that it's in trouble. It has fired 1,300 staff at two Michigan plants after the end of the Camaro and electric vehicle delays. The car manufacturer insists the fired workers will be offered work opportunities at other Michigan plants at some point in time. Got no idea if that's true, though. General Motors is laying off 1,314 employees at these factories. This comes after General Motors has delayed production of battery packs, delayed production of electric motors in-house, and delayed the Chevrolet Silverado EV and the GMC Sierra EV. The job cuts will start from the 1st of January 2024, so in only a couple of weeks from now. 945 workers are being axed from GM's Orion assembly plant in Orion Township. And this comes after thousands of jobs. So far this year, General Motors has actually fired more than 5,000 staff in America. If Tesla had done this, it would be all over the front page of the news, but General Motors doing this somehow just, just flies under the radar. It's funny that, it's strange. These cuts follow GM's announcement in October that production of the Silverado EV and the Sierra EV will be delayed by a year, which means two years, probably in General Motors speak anyway. This forces the company to idle the factory and transfer 1,000 workers to other GM facilities across the state. GM has confirmed the cuts in a notice filed with the state and received on December the 6th. It says it was unable to provide more advanced notice of the layoffs as it was waiting for the new UAW contract to be ratified. I'm not sure about those claims, but for General Motors to give these workers, what is it? It's now the 16th of December. These workers have two weeks. That's it, two weeks. Two weeks and then bye-bye. Personally, I do understand the free market. You need to make money to pay your staff, right? And General Motors is saying, well, our, our profits are lower than expected. Now we have to pay our, our staff more money as a result of these new union agreements. Therefore, we have to fire staff. But giving them two weeks of notice, that in my opinion is just downright mean. Two weeks. I mean, come on. Once ratified, we had to identify the structural changes to the workforce at the Orion subsystem facility with the inclusion of subsystems into the bargaining unit and determine what layoffs were required by the structural changes. What a bunch of nonsense. Anyway, that's what General Motors said. We're providing as much notice as is practicable under the circumstances. So the General Motors say two weeks notice is as much as they can possibly give to their employees. Doesn't even sound legal to me. Speaking with Automotive News, GM spokeswoman Tara Kunin said UAW represented employees at the Iran assembly site will be offered other opportunities in Michigan at some point. Don't know when though. In addition to the jobs being lost at the assembly facility, 370 workers at the Lansing Grand River Assembly Stamping Factory will lose their jobs in phases starting from the 1st of January with production of the Camaro to end. Kunin noted that these workers will be offered other work opportunities some of them will anyway at some point. They didn't say when, and they didn't say how many of them will be. 
GM anticipates having job opportunities for some impacted team members per the provisions of the UAW GM National Agreement, said General Motors. Lansing Grand River Assembly will continue producing the Cadillac GT4 and Cadillac CT4 and the Cadillac CT5. Clearly, this new agreement with the UAW has put some more pressure on General Motors. It's it's staff requirements are uh, well the staff costs are significantly higher than they used to be and general motors obviously has delayed ev production significantly and this is going to hurt the company in the long run but i could be wrong i'm keen to know what your thoughts are let me know in the comments thank you for watching